Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video on Valorant. I just got access to the closed beta, and I'm really excited about this game. If for some reason you haven't heard about Valorant, it's a new game that's coming out this summer. It's a mix between CSGO and Overwatch. I have only played a few days, and I am by far not a pro at this moment. Got one. But I would say I agree with those comps. It has the shooting mechanics of CSGO, but unlike CSGO, there are a lot more weapons that allow you to look down the sights. When you walk, crouch, or stand still, your aim is more precise. The overall game is identical to CSGO. It's a 5v5 first person shooter, but the first team to win 13 rounds wins the game. And in CSGO, it's the first to 16. Get out played, homie! One team is trying to detonate the spike or plant the bomb, while the other team is trying to prevent the spike from being planted. One enemy Got him. Remaining. Nice. Or you can just kill everyone on the opposing team. Show him how to use the op again, please. Oh my god, I love you. Also, like CSGO, you earn money based on what you did in the last match. And you use that money to purchase your gear for the next round. But unlike the buy menu in CSGO, Valorant allows you to buy abilities instead of things like grenades and smoke bombs. And that's where the comparison of Overwatch comes in. Your character has one ability that is special to them. Two abilities that other players can have. And their ultimate. <laughs> you buy the two abilities that are not unique to your character before you start the round. The ability special to your character can be refreshed during the round or by getting eliminations. And your ultimate will build up through the rounds based on your gameplay. Right now, there are nine different characters to choose from and four different classes. Duelist, Sentinel, Initiator, and Controllers. A lot like an Overwatch. Right now, the game feels a lot like CSGO, but I think once people get used to the abilities and they learn how to use them, it'll be a lot more like Overwatch. Valorant is in closed beta right now, and I will show you how to get it if you don't already know. First, if you don't have a Twitch account, you need to have one. Second, go to Riot Games, scroll down to Valorant and click on it. Create a Riot account if you don't have one. If you do, just sign in. Once you've signed up, click on the Check Your Status button. There will be a place to link your Twitch account with your Riot account. Then, go back and click the Watch Valorant button, and start watching. Make sure that you watch Twitch streams that say Drops Enabled, and just leave it running on your device for two days. I'm not kidding. When you finally receive your email from Valorant congratulating you on your access, download the game, restart your PC begin. There's a lot of talk about graphics in this game. Some people are saying it looks amazing, while others are bashing it. I think a lot of this comes from the people saying that they like the art style and thinking it's amazing. I don't think that anyone would say that Valorant is graphically stunning. Valorant has said that the game can be ran on computers from a decade ago, and it can get high frames on newer computers. The only way to do that is to pull back on textures. The game, though, does a great job of doing this with a clean art style. And it's still visually enjoyable in my opinion. I think the approach to high frames and low ping gets me more excited than pretty trees in a competitive video game. 
Like I said, I've only had it for two days. I've only played a few characters, and Jet is my favorite. Hope to see you guys in here soon. Oh yeah, it's also free to play. Get the spike, you're fine. I'm sorry for even going that way with the spike. I have to fight. That's a clue. Cool again.